Welcome to AR Specs, your introduction to the world of augmented reality. Here, we will teach you everything about augmented reality. So, what are you waiting for? Let's begin! Technology has been a part of our lives for a very long time. With that, there has been numerous advancements that contribute to our daily lives. One of that is AR. AR, or augmented reality, is a new technology that involves the overlay of computer graphics on the real world. This means that this software application can merge any sound, video, graphics, or other sensor-based into the real world objects using the camera of your phone. But how does it differ with VR? Virtual reality is the creation of a completely virtual environment that cuts all interaction of the user with the real world. It replaces your reality with a virtual one that you can manipulate using various methods like a controller or your voice. Click the play button to see the difference between AR and VR. Augmented reality is when you look at the real world, but it's augmented with additional information or graphics in your view. Now, key to this AR concept is that the things are indexed to a location. That means they occupy a relevant place in your view, as opposed to moving with your gaze as you turn your head. And in many cases, you can interact with those visuals that are augmenting your view. AR can be had via a phone and one of the many AR apps out there, or for higher performance, you use dedicated AR glasses. Virtual reality is when the world you're standing in is replaced with a virtual one, with some of these. Everything you see and everything you hear is replaced with something computer generated. Now the world that that takes you to can be very naturalistic actually, or extremely synthetic and fantastic. VR, you're surrounded in 360 degrees, and the space is three-dimensional. Now, in its most ambitious forms, VR places are also navigable, as you can move through them and use your hands to manipulate things within them. Now, here is a brief history of augmented reality, or AR. Although AR has gained popularity through the recent years, it has actually been around for quite some time. To start off, around 1901, an illustrated novel called The Master Key was published. A pair of spectacles was described which shows a letter on that person's forehead regarding their character. Then, the year 1968 marks the beginning of AR. Computer scientist Ivan Sutherland developed the first ever VR and AR head-mounted display system or HMD called the Sword of Damocles. It used computer-generated graphics to show users simple, wide-frame drawings. The term augmented reality was first used in 1990 and after that was the popularity boom of AR. Fast forward to 1999 with the aid of a hybrid synthetic vision system, the NASA X-38 spacecraft was flown. In the next year, the AR toolkit was created. It is an open source software library and in 2009, AR Toolkit allowed AR on web browsers. Recently, AR got even more popular, especially after 2013. Google started on Glass, a wearable glasses that use AR. AR has a lot of uses, not only for entertainment, but also for retail, home decor, and so many more. Let's start off with retail. Numerous companies have implemented AR in their stores, not only to promote their products, but also to enhance the user experience inside the store. One of these is by the brand Pepsi. In 2014, they installed AR tech in a London bus shelter to make it seem like a lion, UFOs, and flying saucers were coming towards the citizens. 
This video attracted millions of views on YouTube and it became one of the website's most viewed advertising company. Hit play! Next is by the furniture store IKEA. They develop an app called IKEA Place where you will be able to see potential pieces of furniture in your home before even purchasing them. You can place chairs, desks, and anything found inside the IKEA store in the comfort of your own home and see how it looks like and if it matches the painting on your walls. It's like trying it out first before buying but digitally and without cost. To see the video, press the play button. AR can also be used for training, and for educational purposes, let's take a look at Project Esper. It is an app where you can explore the anatomy of a human body and see its parts in great detail. Click the video to start. And of course, AI can be used for entertainment. Did you know that stop Snapchat or Instagram filters are considered as AR? It is because they augment or distort what is seen from your camera. But one of the greatest examples of AR is Pokemon Go, where you can travel between the real world and the virtual world of Pokemon with Pokemon Go for your iDevices and Android devices. Pokemon Go gives you the chance to explore real locations and search far and wide for Pokemons. Watch the video to find out more. Even though AR has been here for quite some time, there's still a lot to improve so that there can be more applications in the real world. AR has not been only found entertaining but also useful. It was able to provide leisure with games, help us with planning out our homes, and provide us with hand experience to various things digitally. We are so for the future of AR. And so should you. Goodbye!